today students we will be talking about electrostatic problems first i will give you the brief overview how to resolve the electric force problems then i will go over the one question detailing out the steps so let's first go to how to solve the electric force problems for solving electric force problems, there are some brief steps if we follow those steps it will be easy for us to solve the equations so let's see the steps first First, we have to draw a nice diagram showing all the position of charge. Like suppose we have uh, charges placed on equilateral triangle. So we first we need to draw the equilateral triangle showing all the charges. Next step would be to show the forces of the on the point of interest. Like suppose we want to find a uh, electric forces on the on the charge A. Then we have to see the what all forces are being acting on that charge from all the surrounding charges. So we have to point the correct directions, directions accordingly and we have to remember that for repulsion it will be away from the charge and for attraction it will be towards the charge. Third, now using Coulomb's law we have to find out the magnitude of all the forces acting on the point of interest charge. If suppose in an equilateral triangle we have three charges placed and we have to find the force on the one charge then the force will be acting from the other two charges and the direction will be according along the sides of the equilateral triangle. Fourth point now either we can make use of symmetry or we can choose a suitable xy coordinate system. Now in some cases we may be able to resolve the resultant force due to symmetry like uh, the forces are acting in opposite directions then definitely you can just minus that force so you will find so it's symmetrical now if we have forces in three different directions then we have to choose a suitable coordinate systems and resolve all the forces in x and y directions and once we know the components in x y directions we can find the result in an x direction y direction we need to remember that positive direction the positive direction forces will be treated as positive and forces and the negative direction will be treated as negative now we know the resultant forces in x and y directions so now it is very easy to find the total force magnitude and direction using the simple known formula okay now we are clear over how to solve the electric force now we'll go over to the question so our question today is the four charges are placed q q2 q3 q are placed on the end points of a square as shown in below figure. It's in a square and four charges are placed on the ends of the square. Q2, Q3, Q4, and the dimensions of the squares is also given. We have to find the force on 3Q due to other charges. Okay. Now, we have to remember whatever like I have uh, taught you earlier, like how to solve. So first step would be to we have to first draw a nice diagram of the charge square so here we have drawn the nice diagram of the charge now second step would be show the all the forces on the charge interest now here i have shown force due to charge 4q would be in horizontal direction 4q the force due to 4q charge on 3q will be force of repulsion and will be in the direction of this side so here i have shown like this next force due to charge dq now force due to charge dq would be in the vertical direction again it will be repulsion so it will be in this direction now force due to charge q would be along the diagonal directions and again it will be repulsion because all these charges are same charges now we know the direction of forces now next step would be to find the magnitude of these forces according to the coulomb flow now we know that force due to 3q charge force due to q charge on the 3q is k is a constant which we have treated like 1 upon 4 5 4 pi epsilon now q is 3q another is q and the distance between them is root 2l so that is that becomes 2l square now force due to charge 2q on 3q again is k 3q into 2q upon l square because l is the distance between those charges now force due to 4q charge and 3q charge again the vector is k 3q into 4q upon l square because the distance between them is l. Now the force step which we need to choose now these force directions these forces are acting in different directions we cannot just simply resolve through symmetry. So we have to choose an xy coordinate system. 
here we're choosing 4Q as an original XY plan system. This is the X direction and this is the Y directions. So now take the components of our forces in XY direction that result in. Now let's study from this graph. This force is in this direction, so there's no need to do any component. This force is in this direction, there's no need to do any component. This force is in this direction, we can take components. So this component it will go to horizontal component, this component will go to vertical component. So here is the force on 3Q charge in X direction is K12Q square upon L square. This is because of 4Q charge, which is acting what horizontal direction. Now force due to Q charge, which is acting diagonal, we have taken component, horizontal component. So that is 3Q upon 2 L square cos 45 degree. And that becomes 13.067 KQ square upon L square. Now again force on 3Q in Y direction. Now the, this direction is negative. So we have chosen this direction as negative. So minus K, uh, this is uh, 6 Q square upon L square because this is force due to QQ charge. Now again that the force due to Q charges will be, in, will be uh, the vertical component will be acting in negative direction. So we have taken 3 Q square upon 12 square sine 45 which comes to minus 7.067 K Q square upon L square. See here the positive shine represented the X direction of force is in a positive direction and Y direct here the negative side implies that the Y direction of force is in the negative Y direction. Now we know the X and Y component of the force, resultant force. So we can now we can find the resultant due to simple formula F is equal to square root of F3QX square plus FQ3X and direction can be found using the formula 10 theta 3QY upon 3QX. So substituting these values in this we get F is equal to 14.8X K square upon L square and theta is equal to 3 degree centigrade square. So that's the problem.